Hey Spartans, welcome back. So apparently this is indeed the year of Doom. QuakeCon is going to be Doom themed 1000%, hell, even 1 million percent. We're getting a new game on November 22nd, which is called Doom Eternal, if you guys didn't know. We are getting a controversial Doom adaptation in a movie format called Doom Annihilation, which I'm going to do a review about the movie when it comes out later this year. And now... They have just announced that the Franco brothers are going to adapt the Masters of Doom non-fiction book into a TV series, which is obviously going to include a lot of drama. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Masters of Doom TV series and just express how excited I am for this one, because it's not what you... Spartans thing to be honest. We're nearing the goal of reaching a hundred thousand subscribers every single day so subscribe if you like the content and if you are already part of the Spartan army sharing commenting and whatever if you are already part of the Spartan army I love you with all of my heart. I really do. 6,000 likes and I'll drink a beer with Hugo Martin and Marie Stratton at QuakeCon. Do not drink underage, okay? It's bad. It's illegal. Bad. Do not do it. So yes, just recently USA Network announced that Doom is leaving the pits of hell and it's going to the American screen to show an adaptation of Masters of Doom, which tells the tales of how John Cormack and John Romero co-founders of its software and ultimately some of the godfathers of the FPS genre created the much acclaimed and legendary games like Wolfenstein and Doom, how ultimately they built an empire with Doom and how they became arch nemesis and rivals years later. But first, let's read this beautiful article which I rarely do. Doom TV show is being made by Dave and James Franco. Hell on the big screen. Its software's Doom is leaving the fear pits of hell and it's making its way to television screens. American television company USA Network has ordered a TV pilot for Masters of Doom, produced by the brothers Dave and James Franco. It recounts the story of its software co-founders John Carmack and John Romero, best friends turned beat rivals as they create one of the most influential Inf influ influ I cannot say that word. One of the most influential first-person shooters in gaming, Doom. Oh my god, this is going to be a really good one. But first of all, I couldn't believe that we're getting a new Doom TV series. Like, we're getting a new Doom game, Doom Eternal, that is going to be an absolute blast and maybe game of the year because it won game of the year critics at E3, so it's going to be... It's 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 going to be a really cool game and we are also getting a Doom movie named Doom Annihilation which is not doing that well when it comes to previews and articles and whatever. The movie is not out yet but it's um it's 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 apparently it's going to be really bad but we st still need to watch the movie first to do a proper review which I'm going to do in the future, but anyways. I couldn't believe that we're getting a new Doom TV series, but also that it was being produced and directed by James and Dave Franco. Like, yeah, the actors James and Dave Franco. Maybe James Franco's acting isn't the best in par or compared with other Hollywood actors, but he is a very good director and producer, and I cannot wait to see how he is going to adapt Masters of Doom into a TV series. This TV series is going to have a pilot episode, pilot, which means that first, they are only going to release one episode of Masters of Doom to test the grounds and see how is the audience going to react to the Masters of Doom TV series and see if it is worth on continuing production or not. I believe that when it comes to gaming related TV shows, your show is already destined to be a huge hit. I mean, they are now creating a TV series for Halo, and I know that there is going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that are at least going to watch the first episode. They already hold the rights and title for an amazing IP like Halo and Doom. The only thing they need to do is deliver, which of course, it's not an easy thing to do, but with the right mindset and competent workers, 
I think it will be a possible task. And yes, this is not going to be the Doom TV series that we all wanted. I know that pretty much everyone, and I include myself, preferred to have a Doom TV series that was set on Mars and we view the perspective of a lone marine in the USC facility, ripping and tearing the forces of hell with a shotgun. That would be the best thing ever, but I think it's common sense that some media corporations are run by old people with very poor sight for the future of entertainment. Like, the gaming industry is a rich, is a billionaire industry, trillionaire industry, like, there's a lot of money to gain in the gaming industry. Imagine if they did a TV series for God of War. They're doing one for Halo, which is going to be really good. They're doing one with Gears of War as well, which is going to be really good. Imagine if they did one with God of War or with, I, I don't know, other games like Mass Effect or Metal Gear Solid. Like, video game IPs turned the TV series are destined to be good. They only need to deliver with the effects and with the direction of the series and whatever. Media corporations are run by very old people with a very poor sight for the future of entertainment and they think that a Doom series set in the original Doom universe would fail, which is impossible for that to fail if it's done in the right way. I believe James Franco would have preferred on doing a Doom TV series that was set within the Doom universe. I mean, that would be the coolest thing ever to do, but I think that we can view this as a strategy. They already got the rights for the massive IP that is Doom. If this Masters of Doom show succeeds, then they will probably get the pass and approval on doing one within the Doom universe, and that will be the coolest thing ever. Of course, if the show sucks, then what can we do about it? I know that I may be a very dedicated Doom fan in a sense, and that a lot of people view me as a Doom fanboy, which I probably am, but I know how to... I know when a game is bad in a movie and a TV show is bad, but if the show sucks, then it's going to suck, and I'm not going to condone and promote that basic and generic thought of just getting the rights for amazing IPs from amazing IPs and just doing generic and lame shows just to cash grab, and therefore ruining the face or the image of that amazing IP. But what I will do is to invite you to watch the pilot episode of the show when it comes out. Masters of Doom is going to be an anthology series, which means that it's not going to be a documentary series like everyone would expect. It's just going to be like a regular drama TV series you would watch on Netflix, HBO or whatever. It's going to have some castings and let me say, I still do not know which actor is going to play which character and I do not know how much is the budget of the show or for the show but I cannot see anyone else than Jesse Eisenberg playing the role for John Carmack. There is no other actor in the face of this planet that doesn't fit the role of John Carmack as well as Jesse Eisenberg. So fingers crossed they cast him to play as Carmack, but I highly doubt that that is going to happen, to be honest. <laughs> and with a little update on the Doom Annihilation movie, it was supposed to come out on May 17th, but for reasons like the CGI of some demons, it was pushed back to late this year. And we are already on July, so we are one month closer on playing Doom Eternal and being able to watch the Doom Annihilation movie, which is probably going to come out on October, maybe on September. Before Doom Eternal, yes, that's uh, that's 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 obvious. And tell me, Spartans, what are your thoughts on the new Masters of Doom TV series? And do you think that they will make an official Doom TV series if this one succeeds? Please let me know down below. And so, okay, Spartans, please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and leave a dislike if you didn't. If you are already subscribed, I love you with all of my heart. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Our goal is to reach 100k subscribers, so be sure to join the army. 
to get that goal going and do it. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and on Twitch, join the Discord server, you will not regret it and thank you all so much to all of my Patreon supporters and the Patreon army. In the Space Marine section we have Daniel, Florian Hablewetz and on the Doomslayer section we have Mitchell Mason, Grayson West and Chris Shades. Oliveri. Thank you all so much for your continuous support on Patreon and on the channel. And so, okay, Spartans, I'm currently on the beach right now, like right now I'm on the beach with my girlfriend, and yes, I'm going to be back on Friday, so have a great weekend. I'm gonna upload still a video on Wednesday, or probably this video is the one from Wednesday, and I uploaded another video on Monday, so whatever. Have a great, uh, um, weekend and whatever and yeah have a nice day i love you bye